Eight months after the Fukushima nuclear disaster, thousands of people, including children, remain in contaminated areas, and citizens' groups continue to push the government to assist in evacuations and cleanup. A new study out this week from the National Academy of Science warns that soil samples in the northeast of the country show unsafe levels of radiation for farming. And on Thursday, Japan said it was restricting rice exports from Fukushima after grain was found to contain radioactive contamination higher than safety levels. For more, we go to Kyoto, Japan to speak with Eileen Miyoko Smith. She's the executive director of Green Action Japan, a citizens group that has been monitoring the issue since the Fukushima disaster began in March this year. Eileen Miyoko Smith, welcome to FSRN. Thank you very much for having me. Your organization has been working on evacuating people who are still in the Fukushima area、uh, where there are still high levels of radiation. Give us an update on your efforts there. Yes,、uh, Fukushima citizens and joined with、uh, NGOs like us are,、uh, are negotiating with the Japanese government to try to get more people evacuated out of、uh, areas of high level of radiation in Fukushima. Uh, notably, there's an area that's 40 miles away from the plant, that's 60 kilometers. It's the prefectural capital, the, the state capital, Fukushima City.、Uh, there's a huge area there that's really highly contaminated, and we're trying to protect the children of that area. And how would you rate the government response to efforts and, and your calls and coordination to、uh, evacuate people from there? Well, the government response is really terrible.、Uh, it's like a battle.、Uh, busloads of the citizens come down、uh, to Tokyo, and we have this huge meeting, a couple hundred people,、uh, several hours, and slug it out. But the Japanese government、uh, just stonewalls and refuses to designate these areas as necessary for evacuation. Basically, what they're saying is、uh, we'll decontaminate that area.、Uh, And then the citizens demand, wait a second,、uh, we're sitting in all this radiation. Our children are, how can we you know, have children in that area? So please,、um, you, know, you should compensate and、uh, support financially、uh, self evacuation. And then the government just replies, well, but we're going to decontaminate the area. Of course, this, res- this、uh, situation has garnered a lot of public input as well and action as well. Earlier this month, Women、uh, from across Japan held a sit in for a week in front of the Ministry of、e- Economy, Trade, and Industry there in, in Tokyo. What were their demands? Well, our demands, first of all, it's the Fukushima women that sat in, and that was tremendous. I mean, they came down from Fukushima, sat in front, right in the center of the seat of government, making these decisions, demanding two things、um, the protection of children in all areas, high levels of. of Radioactive contamination and the end of nuclear power in Japan. And so we followed them right away.、Um, they had their three day sit in, and then we, we followed with a one week, and our demands were the same. That's to protect all children、um, where, who are living in high levels of radiation so that they can be, you know, they can be able to live a radiation free life by being able to move.、Um, and、uh, Ending all nuclear power in Japan. And you're describing this、um, by、uh, historical standards, a really massive、um, undertaking by especially the women of the society to come out and,、uh, and dem- make these demands. What, has there been any re- response to that action? Not yet, but I think the Japanese government is feeling pressure.、Um, it, it, was, it was done in front of a tent that had already been set up、um, in, in front of METI. And there's a real danger of、uh, it being、um, taken away right now.、Uh, but、uh, citizens in, in really, really want to keep, continue the protest.、Uh, we'll see what happens.、Um, but I think the Japanese government is feeling the pressure right now. You mentioned one of the demands、uh, was to end nuclear power in、uh, Japan. That's, of course, the government's、uh, stance on that has gone back and forth. Shortly after the disaster, the、uh, leadership was saying that Japan should head away from nuclear、uh, power. Then recently, the current Prime Minister, Noda, has said that Japan can't do without nuclear power, and he's, he said he will reopen the idle reactors by next summer. How do you see the leadership on this question of, of reliance on nuclear energy? 
Well, the leadership, even in the, or the former, um, with the former prime minister, he hadn't really um, undertaken genuine policy change. Um, and it's now even more entrenched now with uh, Prime Minister Noda uh, in office. But, but, but the really exciting situation is that right now um, we only have 11 nuclear power plants operating. Uh, we have 54 in Japan, but the others are shut because you have to shut down a nuclear power plant once a year for inspection. And so as they get shut down, they haven't been able to restart because of everything that's happened. So our task now is to keep the ones that are shut shut the, the 11 remaining that are operating are going to continue to be shut down until by next May there will be nothing, no reactors operating in Japan, no nuclear power plants operating in Japan. So we have this huge opportunity and task in, in front of us. Eileen Miyoko-Smith is the executive director of Green Action Japan, a citizens group that has been monitoring the ongoing Fukushima nuclear disaster. She joined us from Kyoto. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you.